we meet, uh, the men's Bible study meets on Friday mornings uh, at 9.30, and we love to see the men there. Um, one of the things that I think about um, is the importance of what it means to study God's Word. Um, there's 288 verses that go along with the importance of doing that. Um, there's 100 verses that talk about um, what it means to, to study His Word. And uh, 188 verses of being spiritual leaders in the home. Second Timothy 2.15. Let me go there. It says, work hard so that you can present yourselves to God and receive his approval. Be a good worker, one who does not need to be ashamed and who correctly explains the word of truth. And I think it's important. Um, in order to work hard, you need to study God's word. And then in 2 Timothy 3, 16 and 17, <clears throat> It says, all scripture is inspired by God and is useful to teach us what is true and to make us realize what is wrong in our lives. It corrects us when we are wrong and teaches us to do what is right. God uses it to prepare and equip his people to do every good work. So I think those are two scriptures that, especially for men in this church, why it's important for us to study God's word and, and to be the spiritual leaders in our home. You know, I knew about God, but about seven years ago when I, when I, when I entered this Bible study, it took me to a much deeper place. And it made me realize that I really needed to be the spiritual leader in my home, and I wasn't doing it. And I didn't have to say anything to, to my family. I just was the example. So I just started allowing my family to see me reading his word, and it has totally transformed my family. Um, we've been through a lot in the last two years with the death of my parents, various surgeries that we've had, but we've gotten through it because... Of the inspired word of God and believing in his truth. I had my 49th birthday about two weeks ago. And my, my wife gave me this, this card. And I think this card and what she wrote in it is why I do what I do. And why I try to be the spiritual leader in my home. And be the example. And to study God's word like I've never had before. You know, the Bible talks about... As the deer panteth for the water, so my soul longeth after thee. I mean, how many men in here are living like that? Is your soul panting for the water to study his word? Because if you're not, then you're not following the instruction manual that God has given us. It took me... Until I was 42 years old to really realize that. Don't waste your time. And if some men in here are convicted of that, just remember it's not me that's convicting you. It's the Holy Spirit that's convicting you. Because we do need to be the spiritual leaders in our home. Allow your kids to see you read the word. Allow your spouse to see you. Read the word and study God's word. Because when you do, it'll change your family. It'll change your own life. It's not just about you. It's about everybody around you. So this card is very special to me, so I keep it in my Bible. And this is what my wife wrote me. 
She said, Jim, happy 49th birthday, babe. She calls me babe. <laughs> God is so good. He definitely knew his plan for me by giving you to me. God has truly blessed me with the best. You are such a wonderful husband and father. You are truly a man after God's own heart. What a compliment. And it's not anything that I've, this is not meant to be prideful. This is not, you know, this is just what she sees in me by me not even having to really do anything but just be the example. I admire your servant's heart. Yet also, how, are you, how you are the rock of our family and the strength that leads our household and family. I've grown tremendously by your example. Didn't have to say anything. I was just the example. Please know all that you do in all facets of your life don't ever go unnoticed by me or others. You do so much around the house and for our family. Jim, I appreciate it greatly and love you so much for that. More importantly, I love how much you love and treasure your family and your Savior. Love you so much, Lisa. P.S. I can't wait to see where God takes us in the future. Man, if you want to change your family, start studying God's word. And one avenue that you can do that is on Friday mornings at 9.30. Right? You want to change your life? You want to change your family? We meet right here in the church. Another opportunity is I think it's 8 o'clock. Is that right, Scott Banks? Here on Wednesday nights? That's another opportunity. But you have to be the one that steps out and does it. 